नमस्कार मित्रों जैसे कि आप जानते हैं जब गवर्नमेंट कोई पॉलिसी अनाउंस करती है कुछ स्टॉक्स 100 परसेंट से 300 सौ परसेंट मूव कर सकते हैं थिंक ऑफ इट एज अ प्ले बुक दैट यू कैन यूज वेन एवर दर गवर्नमेंट अनाउंसमेंट टू फिगर आउट विच स्टॉक एंड इंडस्ट्री विल मूव एंड विच साइड द फर्स्ट अनाउंसमेंट विल टॉक अबाउट So what do I mean by a government announcement? Well, before we get to these guys over here, let's understand this with an example. A good way to understand how a government policy actually affects the market is this event right here. You see that big green candle? This candle right here is called the Nirmala candle. Now, Nirmala ji in September 2019 announced a government corporate tax cut, which obviously meant that corporates will now make a little bit more of net profit because the tax guy is asking for a little less money and immediately nifty showed this move and of course after that it showed a continuous up move you see that one announcement affects the bottom line of the industry and the country nifty reflects the same almost immediately so let's understand what kind of announcements affect what kind of industries starting with the monetary policy So what is monetary policy? It's simply the way for the government to control money supply in the country. Very simply put, they do this through interest rates. If we have high interest rates, you will not take a personal loan and so will not any businessman to grow his business. And because of that, the economy doesn't grow. Simply put, as interest rates go up, growth reduces, interest rates go down, growth increases. So when you see any action where interest rates are being cut, Nifty will move up. Look at this Nifty chart here. You will see uptrends and downtrends. Every uptrend had an interest rate cycle cut happening, and every downtrend had an interest rate cycle up happening. So you can see this in India and all across the world. The next kind of policy is called a fiscal policy. Fiscal basically means how the government decides to spend its money and how it plans to earn its money. and this keeps changing based on these announcements within fiscal policy we also have public spending or how the government is deciding to spend now usually this is very simple they might be deciding to spend on affordable housing it could be highways it could be airports etc and it simply translates into that specific industry if it is say around affordable housing then companies like dlf prestige etc etc developers might be affected that sector might be affected it might decide to increase the railway network across the country and in that case it it might affect these companies which help in railway infrastructure and then there's revenue it might decide to increase the taxes on say rich people and increase their revenue the nirmala candle example we talked about at the start where nirmala ji announced that she'll reduce the corporate tax affected the stock market in a certain way and it's also affecting the revenue it's actually reducing government revenue but increasing uh, private profit then on the other side we had 2022 where oil prices were rising after the pandemic and oil marketing companies were making lots and lots of money now to actually make sure that the government had some stake in this as well they increased tax on these windfall profits so they were able to earn a little bit more then we have regulatory policy now regulatory policy is really deep because any industry can have a regulatory change think about accounting law healthcare land ownership and even something like transport and energy i remember i think it is around 2007 8 9 something around that time where the government announced that you have to mix ethanol inside petrol and this was mandatory and this was unheard of back then and i think this is one company praj industries um which i had invested in but exited too early um was involved in that ethanol blend and this also affected sugar stocks because ethanol comes from sugar so this one announcement not only helped um possibly reduce emissions but also affected two industries directly so that's what this means then we have trade policy think of trade policy as just import and export actually in 2022 there was something interesting that happened the solar glass cells from china vietnam and thailand were being imported in india at mass quantities and reduced the prices now think about an indian company like borosil renewables which is trying to sell the same thing 
क्वालिटी कम हो गई प्राइसेस भी कम हो गए हाउ विल दे कम्पीट सो द गवर्नमेंट केम टू द रेस्क्यू एडेड एंटी डंपिंग लॉज विच बेसिकली मेंट इफ यू इम्पोर्ट फ्रॉम दीज कंट्रीज सोलर ग्लास सेल्स आपको इम्पोर्ट ड्यूटी पे करनी पड़ेगी द रीजन टू सेव इंडियन कंपनीज एंड इफ यू लुक एट बोरोसेल रिन्यूएबल स्पेसिफिकली द प्राइस स्टार्टेड गोइंग अप देन वी हैव पोलिटिकल स्टेबिलिटी नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इमेजिन इफ इंडिया वॉज लाइक वन ऑफ दोज वेस्टर्न एफ्रीकन कंट्रीज जहां पर यू हैव अ डिक्टेटरशिप यू हैव पीपल आउटसाइड दे हैव क्रेजी इन्फ्लेशन है in government is not professional not experienced etc 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 india is very lucky to have a great banking system great political system jahan pe stability actually hai and because of that you are able to get a stock market and foreign investors who can say theek hai i will invest every time an fi investor comes to india he is saying i believe this government and all the governments and the future governments will all do well i trust in its future so we are very lucky we have that as well jai bharat So the next time you hear a government announcement try to decode what kind of industry will actually get affected don't worry about the company itself because you can always invest in a sectoral fund but what's interesting is that every single announcement affects some company in some other way so try to track the news but if you really want to learn how to make money from the stock market you should not look at the news you need a trading or an investing system that makes money for you over the long run and for this you need three things one you need a uh, you need to learn over two days with a mentor how an investing and a trading system works two once you've actually tried to build it and try it you need feedback from an actual mentor and three you need to do all of this inside of a community we have built such a system for you every single weekend it's completely free and it's called learn app prime but not everyone gets in because it's not that easy to complete so if you ever thought you wanted financial freedom you should definitely apply in the description below and see whether you understand and can learn this skill or not If you found that this entire thing was interesting maybe next time we can take one specific policy and go really really deep this was just a cursory glance into how it works so let us know in the comment below smash that like button hit the subscribe button and say something nice in the comments see you in the next video to announce karti hai kaun tha ye to theek hai kare secret to long marriage policy karti hai नहीं 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 आई विल नॉट डू दिस नहीं नहीं करना वाई बिकॉज पैसा बोलता है <laughs>